Okay, everybody. What we're going to start with today in our first unit is we're going to start with what types of numbers we have. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to write up my learning target. So you want to open up to a new page, blank page. You're not going to have this on there. You will eventually have it in one of your digital notebooks, but I'm going to use it today because our learning target is I can define prime and composite numbers and factors. So you're going to write that down in your notebook, the learning target at the top of a blank page, and over here, you're going to put the date. So go ahead and write today's date in here so that we always know where to find it. All right, so the next thing we want to do is we want to talk about our types of numbers. And the good news is this chart is going to help us, and it's going to make it really straightforward. So I'm going to scoot this down a little bit so you can see it. We're going to come up with our definition. So write this down, please. A prime number. A prime number is a number that only has two factors. And the two factors always are one and itself. So, with that being our prime number, if you look at the chart, you'll notice the really dark numbers, those are your prime numbers. Only two factors, think about it. What's the only way we can make two? One multiplied by two. What's the only way we can make three? One multiplied by three. What's the only way we can make five? One multiplied by five. So all of these really dark numbers, the only way to do it is to multiply that number by one. Now, there's always another set. That is called a composite number. So a composite number A really simple definition for that is it is a number that has more than two factors. So any number, it can have as many as you want. The only thing is it has to have more than two. So before we start breaking down the composite numbers, let's define what a factor really is. A factor is a number You know what? I have an eraser. I'm going to test that out on this. Oh, nice. I did not let that in. A number that can be multiplied to get a product. So when you think about numbers that you're going to multiply, a factor are the two numbers that you multiply together. What are the factors of two? One times two. What are the factors of 7, 1 times 7. Well, let's choose a composite number. Let's say we go up here and we say, what are the factors of 14? Well, you can do 1 times 14, and you can do 2 times 7. Those are factors, and it's more than 2, so that makes it a composite number. Okay, a couple things. 
one thing that's special. Two is a rock star. Because two is the only even prime number. Any other number besides two has two as a factor. That means that it's going to end up being composite. You might also be wondering about one. One is its own thing because technically most people will tell you one only has one factor. One. It's a good math argument sometimes. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn this over and I'm going to give you some numbers and we're going to, I'm going to show you a factor rainbow. Okay. So go ahead and turn your page. Okay. So here's one way to make a factor rainbow. You start with whatever your number is. So let's say we start with an easy one, not six. And I want to know the factors of six. What I always do is start with the smallest. We know that one is a factor of everything. So one, what would I multiply one by? Six. So there's two factors. Let's see if the composite. One doesn't work. Does two work? Two works. What would you multiply two by? Three. So now I've got one and six. I have two and three. I already have three. Does four go into six? No. Does five go into six? No. And then we have six. So my factors of six are one, two, three, and six. Okay? Let's take a little bigger one. What about if we did 16? So, factor rainbow, we could do one and 16. One times 16. Will two work? Yes. It's an even number. So two times eight is 16. Does three work? No, nothing times three is 16. What about four? Four. But since it's four times four, what I do is I just make its own little rainbow. I don't have to list it twice. Six? No. Seven? No. I already have eight. Sixteen. So uh, my factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Okay. I'm going to give you one to try. So I'm going to give you 20. So you want to list the factors in order. And here's what you should have. You should have 1 and 20. You should have 2 and 10. No 3. You should have 4 and 5. So your factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. One more. Let's do 17. So your factors of 17 are 1 and 17. Nothing else because Okay, so, so far you have learned a prime number, only two factors, one in itself, a composite number, more than two factors, and what a factor is, which is numbers multiplied together to get a product. Okay, good job.